Hello children, welcome back to our next computer class. Today we are going to continue your third chapter MS Word Formatting and Designing. So last week you have learned how to format a text by using different tools in MS Word like font, font size, bold, italic, underline, alignments and etc. And also you have learned how to set a page margin in MS Word. So today now you are going to learn uh, a new topics in MS Word format and designing. Okay, so the topics are header and footer, page orientation, making columns, bullets and numbering. Okay, so the first topic is header and footer. So now we are going to learn the first topic header and footer. So header and footer means... Uh, before we are entering the topic, um, I will give you a clue. So, you guys have may have read many story books or novel books. Okay. In that, at the top, in the margin area, you can able to see the name of the book or the other name. Or that chapter name is appeared in all the pages. Okay. Usually, the page number is at bottom. But at the top, you can able to see... Uh, the uh, storybook name or the novel name in all the pages. Okay. How it may be done? It is done by using the header option. Uh, this header is very useful in a very in a long document with thousands of uh, pages. Okay. So once if you set the header, all the pages will automatically set by the header. Okay. So one in one page if you set the header and footer, Remaining all the pages will be automatically loaded by the header and footer. Set by the header and footer option. Okay. So, header means the line at the top above the text is known as header. The line at the bottom of the page is known as footer. So, where you are typing now in the document area, in word document area where you are typing now just above the text. The top of the margin area is called header and the bottom bottom of the page is called footer. Okay. So, now we are going to see how to add a header and footer in your document. Okay. So, go to insert tab. Just click on the insert tab in the menu bar. So, the insert tab get open in that header and footer group. So, you can see the group name as header and footer. In the header and footer group, three options are there. Header, footer and page number. Okay. So header, footer and page number. You can see a small arrow just below the header. So, just click on the small arrow in the header part. Header option. Okay. So, a list will appear there. From that list, click on edit header option. So, select that edit header option. So, this open up a new bar which is named as design bar. Okay. When the design bar opens automatically, the cursor will also appear in the page in your document area. So, you can see a new bar in the menu bar. It is named as design and all the options related to the header and photo is there in the design bar and the cursor is appeared in the document area. So, now you can able to type the heading of your document in the header part. If you scroll down, you can able to see the footer part. Then you can able to give your page number. So, now I am going to show you how to do this in your computer. So, children, now I am going to show you the simple way to create the header and footer in your document. Okay. So, see this uh, uh, video I am going to show you the simple way okay how can you able to create a header in your document okay so first I have type a document in word in that you can see that both the sides you can see the margin area in the top just double click so automatically you can see the header is open now okay so the all the options is there the design tab is there now you can able to type in the header area so i am typing a topic as heading greetings okay so that is my 
header area so i can able to align it by using the home tab center alignment okay or right align left align so now i'm moving the page so here is the footer area so in the design tab you can see page number option so click on the current position and select the page number design okay so now you can see the header as in the top and at the bottom of the page footer part the page number so this is automatically aligned in aligned in all the pages so how many pages you are taking in all the pages children now i think you are clear about how to set header and footer option in your document very simply okay thank you watch the next module